Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from um, environmental. The problem states a wastewater treatment plant has an average flow of 15 million gallons per day and a peak to average flow ratio of 2.7. Determine the total volume in cubic feet of an aerated grit chamber found in the plant if the detention time is two minutes. So let's write down what we have here. We have average flow. So Q average equals 15 mgd and a peak. So this is Q peak to Q average ratio of 2.7 and the detention time so we'll call that time is two minutes so these environmental problems like this are similar um, basically just unit conversions you have to understand the problem and work your way to the solution they're asking for um, if you're using the civil engineering reference manual and you need a refresher on some of the environmental terms for wastewater treatment equipment and processes you can go to chapter 29 it talks about that but really these these type of problems you're just gonna punch out some unit conversions and to, to get the answer so the first thing I'm gonna do is use this equation we know Q peak over Q average is 2.7 so let's just plug in Q average and solve for Q peak so Q peak is going to be 2.7 times 15 MGD and I'm going to use a conversion here because they want it in cubic feet if you go to the front of the CIRM it has unit conversions for for this and I'm going to use 1.54 cubic feet per second in 1 million gallon per day so those cancel and what does that give me that gives me 62.37 CFS and then if we remember just our equations for flow we know that flow is basically volume over time okay we were given time so if we plug that in and we use our peak flow we can solve for volume which we need to uh, account for the peak flow so let's get this in volume which is going to be equal to Q times T plug in this so we got 62.337 CFS actually I'm going to write all this down here okay V equals QT which equals 62.37 CFS times 2 minutes and we're going to convert that. One minute is 60 seconds. So our minutes cancel, and this is second is cubic feet per second. So the seconds cancel. Multiply all that together, I get 7484.4 cubic feet. Answer of A. So I hope that helped you out. Again, these type of problems dealing with wastewater treatment plants are, are commonly just conversions knowing how to convert your units sometimes it deals with population and such but anyway i hope that helped you out head to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the engineering pe exam thanks bye